Hey guys, welcome back to another playthrough of the Sunken Land Waterworld type game. And today I want to go over like a simple tip and trick kind of technique to gather iron ore quickly and uh, without too much hassles, pretty close. And there's a good location that I found to do this. And it's, it's a pretty simple, uh, you know, method. It's not super unknown or anything, you know, to do this, but it's pretty handy if you are into like, you know, really building up your base and wanting to uh, expand uh, everything without doing so much grinding because this game can get a bit grindy sometimes. And it's fine. That's part of the game. It's all fun stuff, but it's good to, you know, have a quick way to get some of the resources just so it's not so much time spent, you know, just trying to simply build your base. So anyway let me uh, show you basically what we're gonna do so over here um, off to basically where the starting point is so let's see let's look on the map so we start at uh, the castaway island and then right past the that island one of the closer ones that you'll probably end up you know going to is the uh, district 43 island and um, and I'm still wondering what the percentages means. You know, I see like you see where 17% right there. Um, I, maybe that's the resources on the island. And because I'm not taking all of them, maybe it's just always stuck there. Uh, but I've never seen like 100%, I don't think. So let's get in our little boat and we're going to take off on that island. I try to plant flags, as you see, I have flags and markers on, on the island. So I just put a little foundation down and uh, that allows me to mark which islands that I've already cleared out of all the bad guys and which may have some like good resources and stuff too. So uh, on my main island or on my main base, I have it set to yellow and then these others are green, green, you know, so those are all uh, usually bandit islands of some sort or mutants or something. So let's go over here. Let's get there. I can't wait till I get to the speedboat. I also found a good way to get uh, gears and some more of the advanced items. So I'm going to do that in an upcoming video pretty soon. And then also rubber. I, I found a good location for rubber. Rubber is like, I think it's the hardest material and it's needed for everything. So that's one that I've struggled with. And if anyone else has a good idea or a good location for you know rubber, which is mainly the t tires and some of the big rig diesels that are destroyed under the water, uh, those will have like kind of glass and rubber and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, on this island, so what island we are? Oh, it's actually not District 43. I'm sorry. It's a uh, small rock island. <laughs> That's what it's called. And, and it's funny because it says it's 0% complete. <clears throat> so I've killed all the bad guys on here. So you will see here, there are usually a lot of rocks of iron over here. So like on this little nub pile, <laughs> Usually you can find like three or four around this, but it kind of respawns in different locations. So there's one and there's usually a good solid five rocks on this island to use as for this technique. And then there's a second one, there's a third, and then there are usually some over here. Here's a fourth one and I don't see the fifth, uh, but it's probably somewhere. Yeah. So maybe we don't have a fifth one on this this uh, round, but let's go ahead and do this little trick real quick. I don't know, it's not really a trick, but just kind of a hacky cracky thing. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get our pick. And so after f like on your fifth hit on the copper and the metal, uh, usually it, the rock will destroy, be destroyed. And then you have to wait you know, a certain amount of day cycles for these to respawn. They will actually come back, but uh, if you don't want to wait and, you know, you're going to just use your little metal detector and keep going all over the place and, you know, traveling around and all that, that's fine and dandy. That's great if you're like out exploring, but if you like need metal fast, then this is a good method. So let's get one, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to leave it at four. And where is the other one? Uh, okay, there's so one there, one here, okay, one, two, three, four. It'd be nice to get a 
speedier axe or hatchet or pickaxe, I mean. Wrong tool. Oh my gosh, I guess because it's on a tree. Really? Can I squat down? One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, come on. I guess it's on that tree. Three, four. Okay. <laughs> Man, can I? Let me just cut that tree down. Okay. All right. So now we'll go get this fourth one over here. All right. One, two. All right. So there's our fourth. Now what we're going to do is going to kind of come back over to this area because this is generally where the rocks will spawn. So, all right, so we're just going to just do the quick save and exit, and then we will come back into the game, uh, start game, create game, create game. <clears throat> it's just that fast. You can just do this over and over and over until you, to you your backpack and your boat's uh, chest is completely full. So, so now we're in the same spot. When we come over here, I don't know. Okay, there they are. So, that's weird. I swear normally they're like in here. Oh, there is one. Okay. So now I should be able to hit this four more times. And one, yep. Two, three, four. Okay. Do it again. Four. Do this one. All right, and then here's another one. See, they're just right next to each other. And then generally there's another one somewhere. Uh, there it is. So yeah, so the, this one has five. So there might have been five out in the last round, but I just didn't feel like looking for it. So there you go. And so we'll come back. Do this one more time. Save, exit, and... We will start game, create, create, and then just pop right back into our game. So as you can see, in just a matter of like a couple of minutes, really, a few minutes, uh, we have more iron iron uh, to mine. So we have one, and then there's two, and then there's three, and four, and again, there's probably a fifth one over here somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, well, regardless, regardless, uh, four or five is good. So, oh no, there's the fifth one. So there's one, and there's two in this, ro three in this rock, or one, two, yeah. And there's two more over here. So five total. And if we look in our inventory, look, so we're already jam-packed full of, uh, full of iron. And we'll just keep and repeat. Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong button. And again, if you do, you know, accidentally whack it that fifth time because you lost count, which I've done, it will respawn. So, but it, it takes, I don't know how many day cycles it is, but it seems like it takes about two or three days. Uh, there was one more up here, okay. One. So, so there you go. Now we've already filled up our whole inventory. Uh, get that. Okay. And then you just run over to your boat, fill that sucker up, and you come back, and you're all good. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, well, ten, basically ten full stacks of iron in just a matter of minutes so that's the tip um just kind of wanted to show that to you guys and just uh you know for those that are like really trying to build up their base and get to some of the higher level things it's just a quick trip or a quick uh, tip to get some of these uh, materials quickly and you can also do this with uh, the um, rubber and some of the other things too. So this will work with, say, let's say we go down here. All right, so with this car, um, 
let's say you grab this car and you just you scavenge it but don't go all the way see this little bar just stop right before the end and that way when you reload and come back it will still be there and same for these guys right here always keep something in these chests so if you have a chest here uh, collect all the good stuff that you want like the metal wood and you know leave the tank top but see there's a bunch of rubber which is really hard and the duct tape well and the cloth so so those are all the main resources that you need to build the uh, more advanced things in the game uh, now on the cars if you do actually get the car and you, you clear out the car completely i don't see them coming back maybe they do uh, some of the special cars to look out for and this is a big one is the police cars so if you see police cars just uh collect uh, you know only the minimum that you can like stop at the very end so when you come over here and this is giving you materials uh, stop at the very end i don't i guess this one's gonna be more of a chest i guess let's see normally these will give you a bunch of materials oh okay so uh so stop where is where is that car even like this so just stop right before it gets to the end and this will respawn when you reload the game and with the police cars they are full of uh, ammunition and they have a lot of it too so that is a, a nice thing to get so you, it saves you from having to make it and and i think it's just really pistol am ammunition i believe and maybe some shotgun shells so that's a good source for that and there's a good island that has a good cop car i'll show you here in just one second let me just throw all this in here real quick uh, let's get in the boat no boat get get all right so and it's really close by too so it's just next island it's just directly across from here so we are at the small rock island and we're going to go to this i think it's the neptune island maybe i don't know oh no i think it's rubber ducky island actually yeah let's go to the rubber ducky island and let's see if the cop car is back. I don't think it's going to be. I actually destroyed mine by accident because I did that. T I did that uh, technique, <laughs> and I stopped. And then I forgot that I had already searched it. And I went back and searched it, and it just went by really fast, and and it just exploded. So I don't think it's going to come back. But maybe these do after a certain amount of time. It would be nice. If the devs, you know, put in a way for some of these resources to come back because, it, you know, it does get kind of hard to find resources and you have to keep, you know, just like going further and further out, which is not a big deal. You need to do that anyway, but some of these, it's hard to find. So let's see here. All right, uh, stop. And let's get out, out. Out, get go. Okay, so there is usually, and this one actually, this this uh, island also has a good source of iron and copper on it. But yeah, see, the cop car is right here. Like every time, it's right there, and it's not it's not showing up. So that's a bummer. But this does have the copper. So you do the same trick for the copper, and you will. Uh, oh, what the. Uh, that was weird. I, I see I accidentally hit it the wrong amount of times, but it's weird because it has iron directly under the copper. I don't know. That's weird. Did I hit it four, five times? I don't know. Um, I, I thought I went four, but okay. So there's so this island will usually have about three iron and three coppers on it. But as you just saw, I just destroyed one of the coppers. So uh, yeah, here's another iron. Okay, so they are coming back. So. Uh, Okay, and then here's a copper. And then you do the same thing. And then there's usually one or two up on top of this ledge. And when you first come here, there'll be some bandits and stuff here. And they will be hiding right next to the copper stuff. So there's also a lot of cotton and potatoes. I don't know why there's just a box of potatoes there. So, oh, and there's a really good, just so... You know, there's a really good food source here. Right over here. Wait, wait, right here. All right, so you get this food source and this bowl right there, this yummy stuff. This one and both of these, I usually grab these and I'll just leave in like one of these items. All right, but this one right here, when you 
eat it, it like look, see, it just fills you up completely, 100%. Um, it's a good one. And so you could just leave an item in there, come back, resource that, and you can have a stack of 10 or 20 of those um, food sources and whatever that bowl was. I didn't see what the name of it was, but you get the idea. So now let's get in here and we'll, since we're cold, we'll go back to our place. But all right, so that kind of gives you an idea of a simple t tip and trick to gather some resources quickly, mainly the iron. And I'll come back and do another video when I find a good spot for, I think I have a good spot so far for the rubber. And I'll show you that. Oh, and that island was, by the way, that was the rubber ducky island right there. So both the small rock island is good for just iron. The rubber ducky island is good for iron and copper and the police car. So the police car will give you lots of ammunition. All right, back on the base and we can put all of our iron materials away store those and then we can start smelting everything but look at this see all that oh crap threw it in there on the ground <laughs> all right so I'm just going to leave you with uh, with that so you can see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you don't mind, like and subscribe and hit the little bell thing to come back for some more tips and tricks on some of the things that I'm trying to, you know, kind of uncover in this game and just help people out with uh, progressing through some of the difficult stuff with collecting materials. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video.